In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new camera from RunCam. Now, this is called the RunCam Racer Nano 2, and don't mistake this with the Racer 3. However, saying that, the Racer 3 and the Nano 2 internals are almost identical. Well, at least in terms of latency, and I think they're using the same exact sensor. So, what are we doing today? We're going to be taking a look at its overall specs, also its latency testing. However, if you are looking for the video footage, I don't have any due to the weather, and there's no way in hell I can fly outside. So, with that being said, let's get started. So the Racer Nano 2 comes in two different flavors. We have the 2.1 millimeter lens, which is 145 degree field of view. And we also have the 1.8 millimeter, which gives you slightly more field of view, which is up to 160 degree field of view. So you'd get 15 degrees more field of view with the smaller lens. Now, in terms of aspect ratio, it is actually switchable between both 4x3 and 16x9, which is really great. And not only that, also the NTSC and PAL are as well switchable, which is really nice here. We'll also do have an integrated OSD which gives you flight timer, we can say on time and battery voltage. Also they're claiming super wide dynamic range with low latency and again that's what we're testing today and you have the option to choose uh, personalized settings for different scenarios that you might be flying in. Also has gesture control which I personally have never tried and possibly will end up being a bit gimmicky and it takes a 5 to 36 volt input which is insane but again I never recommend adding raw battery voltage to these, stick them on a regulator or else they have a high probability of blowing up and or getting a lot of noise in the system. Now its overall weight is around 3.54 grams and again this is the nano size so if you don't know this nano is the super small then we have micro which is also small then it goes up to a mini and then it goes up to the hs 1177 which is kind of like the old run cam swifts or the foxier xat 600s that were out back then so the nano is the smallest you could currently get so let's go ahead and take a look at the testing results so for the run cam racer nano 2 we got two milliseconds of latency which is pretty insane and it is exactly identical to the run cam racer 3 however with the racer 3 that's a micro and this is a nano so i think they are using the same exact cmo sensor because then again when transitioning from a light scene to a dark scene this time we also got that same exact 4.2 millisecond of latency but you can also see the CMO sensor picking it up around the 2 millisecond part, which in again is really, really good. Anything below 10, 5 milliseconds is just insane. And this is well below the 5 millisecond. So it is definitely a great camera, at least in terms of latency. And well, that's going to include it for this video, guys. Everything is linked down below. Make sure you come join my Patreon. You get all this stuff for free. I do more than 10 giveaways a month and new Patreons get their own special giveaway. So if I get two new Patreons, you guys just those two have a special giveaway between them. Obviously premium components and also come get some FPV merch. I have them linked down below. Everything is free shipping and the links to the products are down below as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.